mine. But if this world was yours, but if this world was yours, I would give it all up in the end. And I love you. But if this world was mine, if this world was yours, if this world was mine. If this one is your and If this one is your love, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But if this one was mine, I would give it. If this one, I would give it. But if this world was mine, if this world was yours, but if this world was mine. I will give it all the way you care. But if this work was mine. Alright, alright, alright. If this work was mine. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, man. Just no, think, about, whoa, whoa, think about what we talked about earlier, man. No, 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 no. Hey, into it now. Oh, 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 oh. We all broke God's laws and broke His commandments and deserved yes, it. We all do. But look, Jesus paid the fine for us. Does that make sense? If you go to court here in Savannah and the judge finds you guilty, he's going to punish your crime. But as long as somebody pays it for you, he ain't going to let you go. And that's what happened with Jesus on the cross. He paid the fine for us. And we know God was was satisfied with that with that because he raised him from the dead. Easter, we just celebrated Easter, right? Just a few days ago. That was God saying, I'm pleased with that sacrifice. Then they call the police on me. I ain't got no ID. They laid it down. Show me kind of what you do. Yeah, I can make savings. Make these up. Somebody show you how to do that? Nah, I just watch the person do it. Ain't that hard. Now what are those? They call palm trees. Okay. Come out of Africa for real. It's history. This history. Do you get them? Do you get them somewhere around here? Nah, I got to steal eat. You gotta be honest. You said you gotta steal. You gotta go to somebody's backyard. You gotta, I ain't lying, it's a fine. Then you gotta have a license to sell it. You serious? Yeah, I can't be out here doing it right here. And I ain't even got a license. I ain't got no permit. You just doing it yeah, just, just make some money? Yeah, make some money. She just bought one. Look at that right I, I see how cool that is. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh man, can you, can you talk and do that at the same time? Man, I can walk flip at the same time. Well, tell me a little bit about your your past, man, and kind of how you where you where you from? I'm from, a, I'm from a city that it's a good city. It's a historic city. The slave ship came through there, called yeah. African Town. Anybody from Mobile know about African Town? Yeah. Martin Luther King, somewhere right there. Okay, but he in the back. He ain't in the front. Think about it. Yeah. So you said you a vet. You said you been shot up, or what? What, what do you say? What you mean by that? What well, I mean by that in the streets. And about the army. The army ain't did nothing for me for real. Cause if they did, I won't be no home in the veteran. There's so many home in the veteran out here in Savannah, crying shame. How you how you how did so how did you feel like you ended up on the street? You seem pretty clean and everything yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I take I take care of myself. Yeah. Do you sleep out here or what? Yeah. You got family? Nope. No family at all? Mm -mm. Mama did. Is that me, God? Yeah. Me and God and people over there. Look over there. Yeah, who's that? That's my friend right there. My okay. family, yeah. I got That's you. my family. Yeah. Go to them neck. That's my family. I ain't got nobody. Hmm. That's why I walk out like I talk. Yeah. I keep no kids real. and no. Got no, one little baby. Do you? Where, where, where he or she is? Is she here? Nah, him on uh, Mobile. Mobile, Alabama. So. We're trying to make it, man. What What's your thoughts about the uh, What's your thoughts about God and afterlife? I don't, I can't really say. Yeah. I ain't really trying to go with afterlife. I'm gonna die one day. Yeah. Sure. You have any thoughts about what happens to a person when they die? See, I'm gonna either I'm gonna go to hell. I hear that right, right now. I'm gonna go up or down. If I die, if I die right now. Yeah. I don't know where I'm gonna go. Hell or hell. Hell or hell. Yep. You have any idea to determine how? You have any idea to determine how, where you gonna spend eternity? No. I just don't want to go to hell. I did a lot of bad things back in the gap. Yeah. Got the tattoos on me. Yeah. Feel me? I'm all that. 
Yeah. I just that's why I do it right here. Mother tried to shoot me last night. Who trying to shoot you? I know. Why, why is it? My shot, my leg right there. Look at that. Big hole right there. I mean, yeah, I just look like this, man. You look good, man. You like to take care of yourself. So, someone. Yeah, I do that now. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I got to make some money. Is that right, Mom? Hey. I got these pom-poms on there. That's the pom trees. I call them pom-poms. I ain't got no pride. I don't live for the word. Remember this. I'm telling y'all. This is not no... It ain't about the money with me. It's three L's in a day. Okay. That means look, listen, and learn. I ain't got no pride. I don't live for the world. I don't live for the world. You can't. So if you still before God, what do you, how, what's your highest percent chance you think you get in heaven? If you have to put it on a percentage scale. Zero percent you go to hell, 100 percent you get in heaven. I can't say. Yep. I can't, I can't say that. He the one gonna answer that. Yep. I can't say. Can I tell you what the Bible says about it? T talk to me. Well, uh, the Bible gives us the, the commandments and it kind of measure you based on where you are. Let's right. just see how good you are based on the commandments, okay? Right. This is no judgment, man. Somebody did this to me. Right, give it to me wrong. Give it to me wrong now. All right. Okay. Marion. Marion. Devon Marian. Thomas. All right. Uh, so, Mr. Thomas, uh, how many lies would you say you told in your life? I'm 39. Okay, I'm 40. Uh, I ain't got no bumps on my tongue, so I ain't tell too many. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I give it to you right. Hold on, she laughing. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, let it out. Hold on. Now. I'm with you. Uh, Jesus said if you look at someone with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. Have you ever looked at someone with lust or sex out of marriage or pornography or anything like that? Man, I've seen it every day. I've seen it now. <laughs> I was born to sell them. I hear you. Yep. I ain't gonna lie to you, but now, I don't think I do. I gotta repent. Okay. See, I'm born a sinner. Yep. I heard you. All these women's out here with these tight pants on. And I'm going to look. I can't sex. I can't lust. I can't chase. I ain't yep. got to do none of that. You got all, everything out here. Pervert, safe sinner. Yep. Everything out here. Right? right, right. All right, have you ever stolen something even if it's uh, small? Nah. Never, never stolen anything? Never stolen. I don't Better do man that. than me. Do you, get them, do you get them somewhere around here? Nah, I got to steal these. You gotta stay honest. <laughs> you say you gotta stay. You gotta go to somebody's backyard. You gotta. I ain't lying, it's a fine. Then you gotta have a license to sell it. You serious? Yeah, I can't be out here doing it right here. And I ain't even got a license. I ain't got no permit. Oh, you never even stole the pump on? That did right here? Yeah. Uh uh, I buy it. <laughs> Real talk. Okay, okay. I'm not from Savannah, so oh, I, got you. I had the lady down there. She yeah. already sold out. The other lady tripping. So I spent $10 to buy what I made. Yeah. I mean. Well, I tell you this, man. Based on the standard, man. Uh, like I'm, and I'm right there with you, man. I'm not here to judge you. But based on the yes. standard, man, you'll be guilty just like the rest of us, right? Yeah, so yeah, if you yeah. stood before God and He He gave you what you deserve, uh, Mr. Thomas, man, you'll be guilty just like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't no so, better. I ain't no better. So if you took a criminal and you stood before a judge, the, the judge has to do what a good judge does. He can't let the criminal go free, right? Man, the judges they got they they got their day coming. True. Their day gonna come. That's true. The word, this bird that we living in, already corrupt. Yeah. And you know Spirit. why? You know why though, right, Mr. Thomas? Why? Because we here. <laughs> nah, it ain't that. It ain't that? It was, it's already done when, when the apple. But it fold in. Because Solomon say, him and God was best friends. You yeah. got to think about it. Yeah. That's why my favorite story in the book is Job. Okay, then. But one thing I question, the man of above. Okay, then. Why you say such and such? You can take everything from Job, That's right. but don't kill him. Yeah. Think about that. Why would you say that? I mean, I can answer it if you want me to. Yeah, that's it. a good question. Yeah, I get you on that. I will say this, man. God allows things to get our attention. If we all had everything rocking on well, right. we would never have our attention given. Like, I had to go to hit rock bottom at some point to recognize that I'm not in control, right? right. So that's why 2,000 years ago, the Bible says God sent his son. And even though we're guilty of sin, he sent his son to pay the price. So all of our sin was transferred to Jesus, and it was though he took on our sin, he became guilty. Does that make sense? Right. So let me give you the last illustration. It'd be like a man that murders people. You stand before a judge, he's gonna give you the electric chair. You're scheduled to be executed in another week. They put you in an orange suit, they strap you in that chair, they put the electric hand on your head. Executioner goes out of the room, puts his hand on the switch, and all of a sudden you're sitting there about to get fried. The judge walks in with his two-year-old son. The innocent judge walks in with his innocent son, and they unstrap you, tells you to stand next to the electric chair. Well, he kisses his son one last time and puts his son in your place. The judge goes out of the room and puts his hand on the switch. 
flipping the switch, execute his son for a guilty murderer like you. Well, you only have two choices. The judge comes back in the room and says, would you accept what my son has done in this chair? And he'll freely let you walk free because his innocent son has paid your price. That's how much he loves you. Well, similarly, that's what the Bible says God done with his son, Jesus. Even though we're guilty, he sent his son to pay our fine. He executed Jesus, even though he was an innocent man because he was paying for our sin. And if a man would choose to turn from his sin and put his trust in what Jesus did on that cross, Jesus said on that cross, you remember what the last word Jesus said on that cross? You have any idea what he said on that cross? On that cross? Any said, last words? Said, last word? Rabbi. Rabbi. Okay. It is finished, meaning he's paid the debt for our sin by him. But they uh, believe in him though. That's right. And that's what we, uh, the choice we have is the to trust. Is the, the choice we have is to trust what he did on that cross and God says yep. he'll give us eternal life. Here you go. Y'all coming back. Huh? Number 20. <laughs> it ain't done yet. <laughs> man, does that make sense at all, man? Yeah. Uh, I just, you know, just drop that in. Drop that with you, man, because uh, all of us are broken and all of us are, are some scale of brokenness. Even though some of us got more money than others, we all still broken. But that's why God sent his son Jesus, man. And I hope, man, at some point, man, you'll, you'll surrender completely to that. Yeah, I will. I need to. Yeah, man, for sure. That's all the hope we got, brother. You got any questions or anything you want to add to this before we end? Nope, I just need y'all to be blessed. Pray for me. I got you. And I keep on going. What, what can we pray for you about? Life. Everything. Right. Man, I pray that you'll understand the gospel, man. That he does love you. He sent his son to pay your price. And that he wants a relationship with you, not a religion, man. Right. So. Man, that that dude I robbed last night. Man, you mind if we, we mind if we, my, 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 my brother Vincent. Hold on, I need to go. Okay, go ahead, do your thing, man. Do well, do bless you, man. Man, so. that that dude I robbed last night. Man, you mind if we, we mind if we, my, 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 my brother Vincent? Hold on, I need to go. Okay, go ahead, do your thing, man. Well, bless you, man. Bless you, okay? Appreciate your time.